Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to Discussions with Curiosity. Miss Courtney and Curiosity have missed you very much. Are you ready to help me get Curiosity out of her house? Look at her. She's ready to come out. Let's work. Let's get her out. You ready? Cat in the box. Sit so still. Will you come out? Yes, I will. Look, Curiosity has something in her paw. What are you holding, Curiosity? What do you have in your paw? Curiosity says we can take a peek. Hmm. This is what Curiosity was holding in her paw. What does that look like to you? Hmm. Let's ask Curiosity what it was. Curiosity, this is such a beautiful picture. Why did you have this today? Why were you holding it in your paw? Really? Curiosity made this picture of herself and her grandpa playing with a ball outside. Curiosity misses her grandpa, and he's not at home right now. So she talked to him on the phone last night, and he said for her to make him a pretty picture and send it to her, send it to him through the mail. That is a really good idea, Curiosity. I love it. Curiosity is going to take this picture. She's going to fold it up. She's going to put it in an envelope, and she's going to take it to the post office so she can mail it to her grandpa. Curiosity has a special book that she's going to let us look through. We're not going to read the whole book. We're just going to look through some pictures. This is about the post office and how mail moves. Have you ever been to the post office before? Look at all these people standing outside of the post office. You see this little boy sticking an envelope in this blue box? This is a mailbox. He can put his envelope, his letter, inside of the mailbox. Or do you have one of these at home? This kind of mailbox? You can put a letter inside of a mailbox to send it to someone. After you put it in the mailbox at the post office or at your house, you have a mailman or a mailwoman that comes and picks it up. They take it back to the post office and they make sure that it has a stamp. And then guess what happens? They send it all the way to wherever you're wanting it to go. Mailing letters to people is lots of fun. And I think Curiosity is going to have a good time mailing her picture to her grandpa. Curiosity, I know you must miss him so bad. And I feel sad that you miss your grandpa. Would you like to do our grandpa rhyme? Would that make you feel a little better? It would. Do you remember our rhyme from the other day about grandpa and his glasses and his hat? Let's practice. Here are grandpa's glasses. Here is grandpa's hat. This is the way he folds his hands and sits like that. You wanna try one more time? This is grandpa's glasses. This is Grandpa's hat. This is the way he folds his hands and sits like that. Curiosity, does that little rhyme about Grandpa's make you feel a little bit, a bit better and not miss your Grandpa as much? It did. She feels better now. Are you ready to talk about our letter? Do you remember what our letter is that we talked about the other day? It's the letter H. This is a capital H. And to make a capital H, you start with a straight line down, another straight line down, and a line across in the middle. That makes a capital H. Let's look at our lowercase h. Remember, to make a lowercase h, you have a straight line down and then a hook. Straight line down and a hook. Capital H, lowercase h. Let's look at our words that start with H. Hot dog. Ha, ha, hot dog. Ha, ha, hot dog. Ha, ha, hot dog. Hot dog starts with an H 
and makes the h sound. Hat, h h hat, h h hat, h h hat. Hat starts with the letter H and makes the h sound. High chair, h h high chair, h h high chair. High chair starts with the letter H and makes the h sound. And horse, h h horse, h h horse. Horse starts with the letter H and makes the what sound? H sound. H makes the H sound. You are right, Curiosity. Curiosity was waving. I think she needs some help, some H H help. You are right. We forgot our wonderful word of the day. I can't believe we forgot that. I'm going to show you a picture and see if you can guess what the wonderful word is today. Hmm, what is this girl doing with a pen and paper? She's writing. Our wonderful word today is write. Just like Curiosity, she drew the picture and she's probably going to write him a letter too and they're going to stick it in an envelope. Write. You can write your name. You can write letters. You can write stories. You can write all kinds of things. You can use pens or pencils or markers or chalk or anything to write. What can you write? Curiosity needs some help mailing her picture to her grandpa. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna help Curiosity mail her picture. We'll see you soon.